about a place to visit during the day it's very pretty it changes colors to colors like pink and blue and different colors the fountain does it's relaxing a water basin and a central water jet input from the public was sought and a poll allowed citizens to choose features of this fountain at the center of the fountain is the freedom jet the tallest and the strongest of all the jets which is the middle of one around it there are three powerful jets representing all three levels of the government. Oh, federal, state, and local. That's this one. Then around the edge of the pool are 50 bubblers, one for each state in the union. So all these little things around here are represent the, uh, each state in the union. The disappearing edge of the pool represents the never ending efforts to preserve and protect our freedom. The fountain is a visual, tangible, and meaningful symbol of awareness, interdependence, commitment, and appreciation for those who know the price of freedom and those who pay that price daily. Very important. Very important. Many people need to think on that last part. But the fountain is a visual, tangible, and meaningful symbol of awareness, interdependence, commitment, and the appreciation for those who know the price of freedom and who pay for that price daily. So very interesting fact about the jets of the uh, fountain. Some people don't even probably take the time to read that, but I thought it was important, so... Oh, okay, now I see that if you look inside, you can see the other jets in there that represent the different things that I spoke about on there. Other like little um, things that try to different things. Realization, the icon. Talking about the Gulf War. Um, talking about the pole. This is the fountain right here. See, this is what it normally looks like right here. Um, the first fountain look like that fountain this fountain was constructed with the assistance and it now stands as a symbol of the appreciation of our community for all those who pass through in service to our nation and an icon of hospitality and appreciation for their service so yeah this is the one that's downtown at the uh, actual courthouse is the first Freedom Fountain. And there's this one. I'll have to visit that one again. I forgot. That's by the um, new courthouse. But there's several different memorabilia things that 
time to stop and read about the places that they visit. But I find it important. Oh, these are who all the community support were that helped with this right here. Um, this, this Freedom Fountain. Yeah, a new Freedom Fountain. Yep. I guess the old Freedom Fountain, I don't even, I haven't visited there in a while. I just think it's very peaceful here. But around there, I can see the white. It's dark right now, but you can see the white. I think that might be the 50 things that represent. But they're, they're white. I don't know if you can see them with it being dark. It might just be because it's night and because of COVID. Might just have not all the, and then because it's dark and rainy, they might not have all of it. You want to come up in? Because normally I just say change the color. And then, um, let's see, we got the Department of the Art, United States of America. Um, this is in memory of John King Sr., who was in the U.S. Army. Is in the Vietnam veteran, member of the Army Red Hats, looks like. This one is the Department of the Navy. That one's done by the mall. <laughs> this one's the Department of the Navy, United States Marine Corps. You got the Anchor, Globe, and Eagle. It says Semper Fidelis, which is the uh, motto for the Marine Corps. But that was, I guess, donated by the, the mall. The big part here. And this is the Department of the Navy, United States of America. This was in honor of the Lapkin family, and there's a flower. I don't know whether you can see the flower. Of course, here's a wreath I totally missed because I was looking at the uh, uh, wreath there. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the reason, this is the reason why the, the fountain is not flowing. Wow. Okay, the reason why I explained that normally what it looks like, it says the Freedom Fountain is in mourning status. The Central Freedom Jet remains flowing while the others have been extinguished for those U.S. service members and civilians lost in Kabul, Afghanistan, August the 26th. A wreath has been placed at the fountain in their memory. So there's the wreath. In memory. there was a reason why that the uh, fountain wasn't flowing naturally because it's so beautiful when you do see all of it going um, but uh, the flower was uh, the poppies are very um, well known here in this, in this city and of course we have the Department of the Air Force United States of America this is in honor of Colonel Richard L. Woodruff Jr. of the United States Air Force, class of 1994. the uh, United States Coast Guard for 1790. This one was from the Fleet Reserve Association Branch 
0.208. So there you have the Coast Guard, of course, which are all the ships, the Air Force, which are all the planes, the Navy, which are all the ships. Even though this says Department of the Navy, United States Marine Corps, this is my favorite one. United States Marine Corps, USMC. Like I said, the Anchor Globe and Eagle mean a lot. Or better yet, I think I'm saying it kind of wrong, it's the Eagle Globe and Anchor. Eagle Globe and Anchor. But it's all of the, um, it's all about the, um, the, what, what it stands for, what it really stands for. American Eagle, the globe, where we live, and the anchor, where the, the ships, and the navy, and things like that. Department of the Army. This will defend. And um, Army does a lot of grunt grunt work. They're the ground force. Marine Corps, Marine Corps can be ground, air, anything. Uh, the Navy normally is the ships, as you know. The Air Force is the fleet, the planes, and um, Coast Guard is of course the ship. So these all represent things here in this city. I'm really uh, kind of sad. I, I really would love to show you the fountain when it was put up. I wondered why. I thought maybe it's just because it was dark or because of the weather. But now that I read it, it makes sense. And for those all who did lose their lives, I pay homage to them. My condolences are to their family. One thing that people must remember too, I uh, the date is getting close. I don't like remembering that date, but it is an important date to remember in the history of the United States, which is September the 11th. Something that we can never forget. And all this and um, really means things to many people who still believe that America needs to do what America needs to do and take care of the terrorists that try to harm the place that we call home, the United States of America. Well, you guys have a great night. It was nice showing you the fountain at night. The flags are hanging. Bye for now, guys.